Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Joy Ochejim and these are the headlines for tracking at the moment. Minister of Women Affairs Uju Kennedy has said that the federal government is set to introduce a $100 million World Bank funded project to economically empower Nigerian women. Kennedy spoke on Monday while briefing journalists after a solidarity walk with women organizations as part of activities to mark the 2024 International Women's Day in Abuja, adding that the project tagged PBAT Cares seeks to empower women with capacities. Men of the Tantita Security Service Nigeria Limited, in a joint operation with the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, have destroyed a base of oil thieves in the Ilaje local government area of Ondo State. Operatives, Tantita's Executive Director, Operations and Technical Services, Waridi Enisuo, said the operation was carried out on Monday morning following an attack on Sunday on Tantita men by oil thieves in the area. And Aminu Darawa, former Commandant General of Kanu Hijba, has returned as head of the Corps. Darawa had resigned from his position as head of Hijba Corps after Abba Yusuf, the Kanu State Governor, criticized Hijba's mode of operation in the state. However, while briefing government house correspondents, Saudu Dokawa said Sheikh Aminu Ibrahim Darawa will resume his responsibilities tomorrow at Kanu Hijba Board. And the Kebi state government has put machinery in place to increase the number of extension workers in the state from 69 to 1,000. The Commissioner for Agriculture and Natural Resources, Shehu Mwazu, disclosed this during the 2024 weekly ministerial press briefing held in Burning Kebi on Monday. And on business, the Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, has reviewed its foreign exchange rates for customs duties collection by 5.3% to 1,544 Naira per U.S. dollar amid the continued Naira appreciation at the foreign exchange market. At the close of work on Monday, FMDQ data showed that the Naira further appreciated to 1,534 Naira per USD from 1,548 Naira. And on the foreign scene, Asian market largely fell on Tuesday after China set an ambitious 5% annual growth target and Wall Street shares dropped ahead of the release of key United States economic indicators. In China on Tuesday, leaders set a 2024 growth target of 5% in line with last year's GDP gains, but well off the double-digit expansion that for years drove the world's second largest economy. And finally, on sports, international women's football star Sam Kerr is facing trial in England after pleading not guilty to a racially aggravated offence against a London police officer. The 30-year-old Chelsea striker and Australia captain was charged following an incident in January last year when Metropolitan Police said they were called to a dispute over a taxi fare. And that's it on the newsroom at this hour. Join us again at the top of the hour for more stories. Bye for now.